Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're coming across an error message on your Windows 11 computer that says that there are currently no power options available. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu. Type in troubleshoot, best match, or come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, you want to go underneath Options and select Other Troubleshooters. And now underneath Other, you want to scroll down until you find Power and go ahead and run that troubleshooter. And you can see it did actually repair a couple issues here. And then go ahead and see if your Power Options are now available. If you are still having a problem, you want to open up the search menu again. Type in Windows PowerShell. Best match, or come back with Windows PowerShell. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. And now I will have a few commands in the description of the video, and they're just basically going to be restoring the power plans back to uh, visible settings. So we're going to start with the high performance one. I'm just going to go ahead and copy that from the description of my video. And then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here, right click on it, select Edit, and paste it in. And now we're going to do the balanced power plan. So go ahead and paste that one in here as well. And then we're going to do the power saver. So just go ahead and paste that in here too. Don't copy and paste the actual name of the plan. Just start where it says power CFG. And then just, you know, paste that in. It, it's not that long. I basically, I'm going to put a separate line. Just copy the one line and then run it. And then just do the other two, one after the other. And then you should have all your power plans should reappear. You may want to restart your computer after this point and then check the power option settings. I would suggest doing that. And then hopefully that would have resolved the problem. If you are still having a problem, you can go back into PowerShell or you can open up a command prompt. So CMD uh, should show up with a command prompt. Right click on it and then run as administrator. Select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. Now you want to type in SFC followed by space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on the keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, you see it did find corrupt files and successfully repaired them. I am going to go ahead and restart my computer at this point. And now hopefully your issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.